I know I had a 401k with the previous employer, but I have no idea where it is. How much in forgotten retirement accounts it actually exists? Well, there is a total of 29.2 million actual previous employer retirement accounts that are sitting out there waiting to, uh, I'll call it, be reclaimed. So if you've worked for a previous job and had even a small retirement account, there's about 29.2 million of them out there. And in addition, in, in like total dollars, that equates to about $1.65 trillion. So what's that path? How do you go about it? Like if you have some dollars that have not been claimed or you had a company that you used to work for that had a 401k, a 403b, a TSP, a government 457 plan, a SEP IRA, that uh, you you know are unclear as to how to access or go uh, identify where those funds are, the first step, call your previous employer. Now, you can start with calling the custodian that had it. So call Fidelity, call Morgan Stanley, but maybe you forgot or don't know who the custodian would be that actually had your previous employer plan. Then reach out to HR at, at, the, at your previous employer. Call the um, either one of two places. Either it's human resources. You can always start with the HR manager. And nine times out of 10, they will send you to pay and benefits, or you can go directly to the pay and benefits department. And usually they'll ask for your social security number and probably maybe a birth date, just another identifier for you. But should, they should be able to, I'll call it, uh, provide that information to you just purely based off the social security number. But what if that's not enough? Like what if you can't access this information by simply calling your employer or calling the custodian that has that, that account? There are a few sites to be aware of. One is the unclaimedretirementsbenefits.com. Uh, it's a national registry that allows you to be able to, what it is, I think you put in your, uh, some basic information, the state that you're in, and it will search uh, through that state's database to see if there are some unclaimed uh, retirement dollars for you. But in addition to that, there's unclaimed.org. This is for any, I'll call it uh, any unclaimed property. So not just retirement accounts, any unclaimed property, you you simply click on the state that you, um, you're, you're currently living in or click on the state that you left and put in some of your basic information. Again, this site is free as well. And it will help you identify whether or not there's some unclaimed property, not just retirement accounts, but any unclaimed property is a way that you can um, kind of access those. And then the last one is capitalize.com. The way they make their money is you put in your information. They will do the work to go identify where your previous employer plan might be. There's no cost to putting in your information and for them to go find your previous employer plan. But when you're ready to access that previous employer's plan, the way they make their money is they then transition. You can't, it's a little small, but the bottom line is they transition your previous employer plan into an IRA. So what it is, there's a markup between uh, them finding your, your account and them cre uh, sending you a, to a Fidelity or to another broker to be able to create an IRA and there's a markup in there. So, th so this, is a, uh, this site is not free uh, for the duration, meaning putting your information in and identifying where one of your accounts are, that's free. But when it comes to transitioning it, there's, there's a cost there. All of these, once you identify where your account is, you can really just leave the site there. Meaning once you identify you do have one, once you identify where it is, then you just call them directly. And once you call them directly, then it's just a matter of getting on my calendar. And I can walk you through what that process needs to look like for you to be able to transfer your previous employer plan to another place. But I thought these were three interesting sites that, uh, again, for those of you who may have an account out there that you're unsure as to where it might be, this is an opportunity for you to kind of do some, some, some of the groundwork to be able to identify where it is and go take advantage and go grab it. Go get your money is the moral of the story. Once you find your forgotten 401k, do you leave it with the custodian or bank or do you withdraw? The last thing you want to do is get hit by taxes and penalties, right? So if you find your, you have a previous employer plan out there, my thought is follow us over to the next video.